Just look less sh quickly, bro. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to turn S-Log3 footage like this into color corrected footage like this. All using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. It's a super simple technique that takes less than five minutes. So stick around and I'll show you how it's done. So once you've got your clips into your timeline like this, you don't really wanna be editing your clips once you've done the grade because it'll slow down your playback quite a bit. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is jump into the color tab over here and you'll notice that box on the top right. This is called a node or a serial node. We need four of these. So holding option and S, you can create four of these and straighten them out slightly if you need to. Then on the third node, we're gonna click up on the top right into effects and in the search bar, you're just going to type in color space transform and then drag that down onto the third node. And this display will pop up in the tab, the drop down that says input color space. What you're going to want to do is look for the one that says Sony S gamut three dot cine. And then on the drop down just below that, where it says input gamma, what you're going to want to do is search for Sony S log three. And once you click that, you'll notice your footage is already pretty much exactly where you want it to be. But you can use this adaption slider to sort of move it around and see if that works a bit better for you and the exposure that you've set for it. I'm going to leave it where it was because I think it did quite a good job. And clicking back and forth, you can see what a difference that tiny edit has already made. Then what we're going to do is click over into the second node and make sure we're in the log wheel mode that says lift, gamma and gain. So you don't want to be in the one that says log, you want to be in the one to the left of that where it says lift, gamma and gain and offset. So essentially when you're working with these, your lift you can think of as your shadows, your gamma as your midtones, and then your gain as your highlights. So you can mess around with these to get the sort of contrast and exposure that you feel looks best for your shot. In my experience, usually this doesn't take too much tweaking to get right. Often what I do is look at the skin tones just to make sure that I'm not overexposing them or making the subject look too orange, green or red. Of course, this was shot at sunset, so it is expected to have slightly more orangey skin tones. What you can do in the first node here is go to the offset wheel and you can pull that around to get the right white balance for your shot. I'm gonna pull mine slightly towards the blue side just to get rid of a little bit of that warmth. And you can see the difference that's made. Then we're gonna hop over into our next clip and you can see here there's no edits on here. So make sure that you've got that next clip selected, then right click on the clip you already graded and click apply grade. That's gonna paste the settings from the previous clip onto this new clip. Now you can see this one looks a little bit off. It doesn't look exactly how we want it to look and it doesn't match very well with that first clip. To look at the clips side by side, what you're going to do is click on this grid box up here, then go to where it says version in the drop down and click selected clips. Then you can see the clips side by side once you've selected them and you can click left and right on whichever one you want to be making edits to. So now, once I've adjusted the exposure, the shadows, midtones, and highlights, I'm going to jump into that first node that we looked at and I'm going to look at the first one and just pull that white balance wheel or the offset wheel to where I think the clips match quite well. About there, I think that looks pretty good. You can look at the before and after and the same thing with the last clip, apply grade, hop onto the second node and make any adjustments that you feel you might need. This clip looks a little bit flat, so what I might actually do is go on here and just add a little bit of contrast to that clip. About there. And then hop onto the first one and again, using that offset dial, just find that white balance that's going to make the three clips match as closely as possible. Now you can spend all the time in the world trying to match these up and get them right. For the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it there and say that that's good. So I don't actually like the way these two clips fit in here. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm actually going to delete these two clips and just work with the clips I shot at sunset. Now jumping back into the color tab, what we're going to do is create a group to do the final grade of all of these. So we're going to select all the clips over here. Once you've got all clips selected, you're going to right click and click on the one that says add into new group. And then of course you want to name your group. Let's just call this one grade. 
It's important to name your groups because if you're creating a lot of groups for various sections in your edit, it's good to know which group you're going to be editing so that you don't change things on groups that you don't want to affect or groups of clips that you don't want to affect. Then once you've done that, you're going to go up here to where it says clip in that drop down and you're going to click group post clip. Then of course we can option S over here again to create four more nodes, four more serial nodes. And then on the last node, the fourth one, what I like to do is jump into this window over here and pull the radius down ever so slightly. What this is doing is just adding a little bit of sharpness to the image. Of course, I was shooting at sunset. It was getting a little bit dark, so I had a wide open aperture and it made sense for me just to bring back a little bit of that sharpness. And you really don't need to do a lot here. Pushing it down from 50 to say 48 is perfect. Then we're going to jump into the very first node that we have click on this curves wheel and hop onto the one that says hue versus hue. Then we're going to put all these points in at the bottom over here. And you'll notice when I pull up all the clips here, if I clip, click on a point or in between two points and I move it around, you can see that makes a big difference to the colors within that section. So you don't want to make drastic changes here as it'll make your footage look quite bad. But um, making minor changes here can really bring the clips together quite well. I sometimes zoom into the skin just to make sure I haven't made the skin tones look too funky. Then hopping into the next node number two, we're going to go into the one that says hue versus saturation. And then what we're going to do, put those points in again, and you can see what's happening here is it just pushes up the saturation or down the saturation depending on where you go. And it's just a good way to add a little bit more contrast to your scene. Then clicking onto the third node here, we're going to the one that says hue versus luminance. Put in all those points again. And what the luminance does is essentially control the brightness of specific colors. Again, making an edit here between the yellows and the reds where the skin tones sit, you can see how much of a difference it makes when I move that up and down. And there you have it. Now you know how to color grade S-Log3 footage using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to be making a lot more tutorials like this in the future. I think every second week I'll be releasing a tutorial video. So stay tuned, give this video a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in next week's video. Cool, I think that's good.